I was uh, 18 uh, years old. I had the chance to do a circumnavigation with my parents. And uh, we see a really a very clear sea. No dishes, no waste, nothing. And 33 years after, I decided decide to do the same circumnavigation. I sailed around the world with this little beach catamaran. And I could see during uh, my passage along Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Maldive Island, I could see so many plastic, so many big plastic bottles and plastic bags and uh, toys, many things. And not only one day, two months. I sailed two months and I had the plastic for almost every day and 100, 100, 100 uh, plastic every day. So when I come back from this trip, yeah, I just say, man, we can pick up this plastic. It's on the top of the sea. It's big plastic. There is probably some things to do. It's, we cannot let this plastic on the, on, on, the, on the ocean. And we start the project, the Sea Cleaner, only two years ago. And uh, now we can imagine to collect the plastic. So what are some of the goals of the foundation? Alors the, the, our goal is very clear, is to build the first boat who is able to pick up the plastic from the ocean. And for that, we have two big troubles, two big problems to resolve. First, how we can pick up the plastic massively, you know, big, uh, not only two tons. How we can use this boat without any uh, fossil energy. We don't, want, we don't want to use petrol to pick up the plastic. So we have to use uh, the, the cells, the wind, the wind uh, turbine uh, uh, at the back of the boat, and only solar panels, and also pyrolysis, you know? This machine who is able to, with plastic, to build uh, some, uh, some diesel. And we find the, really the good combination of all this technology to, and so now we are able to say, after two years, to say, okay, now with this boat, we can build it. We have all the technology, we, we know how to do it, and let's go. Just to take a step back, I mean, there's been talk about how there are islands of plastic in some places in the ocean. What is the amount of plastic that, that are, is going into the oceans now? Alors actually, now there is approximately 10 million of uh, tons of plastic every year who go on the sea. And the good news of that is that uh, most of this plastic uh, comes from the river, and uh, the, the big river like uh, Mekong, Yangtze, Gange River, this big river from the uh, Southeast Asia particularly. They give a lot of plastic every day. And the good news for the Manta boats, it's we don't need to catch all the plastic everywhere. We just need to go close to the big river and just wait of the plastic coming to the boat. So for sure, we don't need only one boat. We need maybe two or three boats in each big river. But uh, with 100 boats like this, we can start to catch a uh, uh, big part of this plastic. You're now aiming towards creating a first boat, but eventually the plan is to have 100 boats. Uh, how is it that you are going to be managing the 100 boats in the future? Yeah. I think for us it's quite easy to build the first boat because many people help us. We have uh, 7,000 people who give the money to help us in this project and many companies. Like you and me, many thousands of people, and uh, we have actually now 25 companies, and we will have much more in the last uh, next years. And where, where, sorry, where are these people located? This time, because we launched the boat only in France, we launched the project only in France and Switzerland, so it's particularly in France and Switzerland, but we have a potential uh, way with all the countries in the world. So we know for the first boat, it's not a big. Uh, problem to, to find the budget and to finish to find this budget. The problem is for the 100 boats, for sure we have to wait to make sure this boat is on the sea, we have to show it works, and after that uh, it will take probably many years for us, for the sea cleaner, to convince all the countries to buy this kind of boat, and it will take time for sure, and there is the many ways to, to find the budget for this kind of boat. And uh, yes, it's not a easy, easy part, but it's not also our job. Uh, when we finish this boat, for sure, the idea is to give the drawing, the, to give the technology to all the people and to, for free. And so uh, Chinese people, uh, uh, Indian people, they can just 
have this drawing, this uh, seven years job we did, they can just use it and we can build two, 20 boats at the same time in the world. They don't need to research, to find a good way, to, to make mistakes. Yes, they will have directly the good solution and they can start. And uh, we, even if we are not involved in this project, it's not, it's not a problem. We just want to make sure many boats uh, will be built uh, in the next uh, years like this. Yeah. But one of the issues now is that unlike in Switzerland where there's been progress made in terms of recycling plastics, in a lot of the rest of the world, these, th recycling really isn't an option. How, do, how will we achieve a better use of, of resources in the future? In fact, to, to have some progress, the only things to do is to be perfect in each part of the life of the plastic. So we need the very best education, sensibilization to make sure, and this part, some time in, uh, in some countries, will, it will take probably 20, 30 years. We need to make sure we, we, we do the best with the waste and the dishes. So in Europe, we are the good uh, example. But for sure, in Asia, we have to work hard uh, for Africa for, for that. Recycling project is also for plastic. It's only new. We know how to build a recycling machine, but we have just few ones. So for sure, we, we see big companies like Veolia, they decide to launch a big program to, to have this kind of machine. And for Monta, we want also to have this little container because we have a platform in the back. We have to have a recycling machine in, in a container, pyrolysis machine in another container. And we want to be able to give this machine to the population, to the people. So when we go in, the, in Indonesia, we say, okay, we pick up the plastic, it's bad, you can do something else with it. Look, you have this container, you can recycle your plastic. Look, there is a, this pyrolysis container. You can build your own diesel. And so we, we can really uh, help these countries and show the solution and, and find the budget because we will have 200 sponsors behind us. So we will have this budget to help these people. So just going back to the uh, precisely the, uh, the issue of money, uh, how are you going to be promoting? Are you going to be going around the world presenting this uh, this project? At this time, we can go only with uh, good television and good uh, uh, 3D simulation. But for sure, uh, the best will be when we, the boat will be launched and when we will have two years uh, 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 pick up the, the plastic, we will be able to say, OK, you see now, we are able to, to pick up 20,000 tons of plastic with this kind of boats. So we can go in every country and explain how it works the boat and show directly how it will happen. And we can, uh, yes, it will be the job for the first boat. But the idea is to have quickly uh, many of the boats will uh, work quickly. And I guess you yourself are probably a good example of someone who has been able to achieve sometimes impossible feats. So this is then something that will happen in your view. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a dream. It's not a dream, you know, like this. It's a, it's a dream with to be concrete. And we, we, we are, I like to do a project with a, you need, you need, you have an idea, you need to find a, the technical uh, solution, you need to find the budget and you need to make sure this solution will uh, work and will happen. And uh, we have the good team in uh, Cleaner. we have 40% uh, working very hard actually now. So we, we want to, to make sure in four years this boat uh, sell uh, quickly. And after going through the northern passage on an open uh, catamaran on your own. Do you have other sailing projects in mind? Uh, yes, uh, I want to spend a lot of time the next two years uh, for sea cleaners. Uh, even if there is a good team, uh, I will help them maximum. After that, uh, I think the team will be uh, complete. And uh, yes, I will have time to continue my adventure. Uh, I want to do a serious competition, come back to the Vendée Globe 2024 and do uh, adventure. I would like a circumnavigation against the wind. Uh, it never happens at this time uh, with multi hulls So we'll see, but uh, at this time, uh, project after project, and uh, this project is the main thing 
for the next uh, years.